But today I wanted to show you my supplementary aeration system, also known as Little Fountain Pump. Uh, I got that on Amazon for about 10 bucks, I think, 15 bucks at the most. And uh, it has been a lifesaver multiple times. Um, as I said in my other videos, to get, you know, your main pump fail, it will fail at some point. And when it does, it's nice to have something else aerating the water. Uh, I don't have any air stones or anything like that in here, because uh, I'm not tied to the grid. It's all solar power, so I've got to really economize my power usage. All my aeration normally comes from the setup of the pipes here. Um, you see there's an inlet, you know, where it bends down, there's an inlet to let air in. Now that pipe goes down about halfway, halfway down this vertical pipe, it, you know, within it, and ends in a, like a chisel tip, so that water coming by draws air down the pipe and uh, mixes it, and you can see a nice stream of bubbles comes up pretty much all the time. Uh, and, uh, but anyway, when the main pump fails, that stops working. So, I have this secondary pump, which is looking a little weak lately, and I think it's probably clogged up with fish crap and you know, everything else in the system. So, I'm going to clean it. Uh, um, anyway, it's powered by this solar panel right here. Now, I'm going to turn that over so that the pump's not trying to pump anymore. And I'm going to pull it out of the water. Oh, yeah, it is really saturated. Um, now, the pump itself is stuck through a block of styrofoam. Um, you know, just to make it float. Uh, I'm going to pause the video here for a second, and I'll take it apart and show you what it's like inside. Okay, so here we go. Pump is stuck through the block of styrofoam, and I'm just going to pull the nozzle off. Like that. There's the end of the pump. Styrofoam can just go over there for now. Now, it's held on, this filter material is held on with uh, a couple of zip ties, so I'm going to cut those. Down in there. Okay. Pull them out. This one's a little hard to pull. And there we go. Now that is a pump itself. Here's a little nipple that attaches it to the nozzle. Now, in this one, I haven't cut a slit across, which I should have done, uh, to get this out. Uh, what I have to do instead is uh, feed the wire all the way back through, so I've got to go get the end of the wire, unhook it, and feed it through. Hold on just a moment. Okay, so here's the end. Now, this is our poop impregnated filter. I'm just going to take that and throw it directly into the soldier fly bin. They will clean it out for me, and uh, then I'll be able to use it again. Okay, so here's my new cut piece of filter material. I can use while well, that one is being regenerated by the soldier flies. And I'll show you just how to prepare it. But first, we need to clean out the pump here. Actually, hmm, maybe we don't. It looks like, uh, looks like the filter is doing its job. Not really any sludge in there, which I expected to see. The whole lot of this, uh, you know, sort of tasty like sludge that I'd have to rinse out. Uh, when I had to do that in the past, 
I would just use a spray bottle. Um, you could just use the tap, obviously, and just you know flush it out through there. But um, then your pump's all filled with chlorinated water, and you got to wait and let it sit for a while before you put it back in your fish tank. So I just use a, a spray bottle filled up with water from my system, so I can just spray it out, and it works pretty well. Um, so since that's pretty clean, I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna cut a slit in this material either, because it seemed to work pretty well. But uh, here's how you how you do it. This is going to be you want this part to be facing into the material, not sideways like this. Or, excuse me, not sideways like that, but onto the material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole about there. And just put the pump through that hole. And I'll take the little, little nipple to force it on. Alright, now that keeps my pump kind of attached to the filter material. I'm going to fold it over, put this out the side here. Fold it over. Tuck it. Now it's going to overlap one more time, so I need to make another hole. There. Just force that through the hole. I try to push it down below the little lip, push down below the lip, and then, well, I can put the starter foam back on, but I'm not going to do that yet. Now I'm going to grab a couple of zip ties, and I'm going to zip tie either side here, like that, like a little piece of candy or something, and I'll show you that. Alright, so I got my zip ties, and the way that you secure them on here, is I'm, I like to get where it's folded over all three times, and I'm gonna make another hole right there. It takes a little bit of effort. Just like that. Then I'll pass the zip tie through that and go around and then just lock it down. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to peek in there and just make sure that our motor is facing the correct way. We want it to be facing through the most amount of material possible. So it is. So I'll put it just like that. Sort of cinch up the end, and on this side, I'll do the same as the other side. So I'll make a sort of hole here. The secret here is really just twisting. It's not uh, not a lot of pressure, just constant pressure, and you twist, and it finds its way through the fibers there. Because you don't want to, you don't want to cut this. Then it sort of frays and starts to come apart in some places. Although, well, not too bad, I guess. Anyway, so there's a time. Go through there. See it kind of sort of pull off the end there. I didn't want it to do that. So that should work. And flip. 
<laughs> and then we just stick our styrofoam block back on. While I'm at it, go ahead and pop this off here. Just see. Oh, pretty clean. Okay. There were several different nozzles like this. I picked the nozzle that was not going to hit the underside of my grow bed up under here. So, okay, so give everything a nice squeeze. Make sure it's all well put together, and we'll float it back in our pond, and we'll see what happens when we hook it back up here. Hook it up, plug that in, flip the solar panel over, and hey! There we go. Much better flow now. And, uh, do a lot better on the aeration. And like I said, that's just a backup anyway. It's not a big deal. And I clean it once every eh, three months or so.